Karim. <laughs> what are you saying about us? <laughs> uh, no, you to the famous say at Umuriro water uh, who chingri have a talam but a watcha. So you guys what you are doing is uh, you are just chingri the Muriro, but uh, the country belongs to us young people. Yes. Um you know Zambia this is a democratic country. And every person has got the right to belong to any political party yes. of his choice. So, if people are judging you because of your political alignment, or because you belong to certain political parties which they don't like, that does not make you less Zambian. I can tell you, in this country, we've got this tendency to say, you know, every time every youth stands up to question the government, they will either accuse you to be you have uh, to be PF or you are UCA. But one thing you need to understand, just like what the chair said here, is that all the youth, they've got their own minds. They're independent. You might not belong to any political party, but if there's a wrong, speak up. Let's not be cowards. This is our country, and let's hold this government accountable. Yes. You know, that's why they say, to say, if you do not want to be criticized, be nothing, do nothing, and say nothing. So if the government doesn't want to be criticized, then let them all resign. Because for as long as they are leaders, and we are here as citizens, we are going to be asking important questions. And we are going to hold them accountable. Because Zambia does not belong to those who are in power, no. It belongs to all of us. Those, those people who are in power are just custodians of power. Actually, yes. only give them five years mandate, mm. for which we are going to say, Munasewe Zamchokapo or Mzapitiriza. So if we ask to say, if we've been to Vasovienda Kut, those are our money, this is our country, yes. and we shouldn't be scared. Every day in Shimajeria Park. Because every day people are raising up to ask questions. Yes. The problem with the current government that I'm having is Boza. Mm. These guys are liars. If they are not lying, they are lying again. If they want to defend a lie, again they will lie again. You know, we can't continue living like this. I can give you an example. The issue of why they sold maize. The question is very simple. Mm. We had maize in the reserves. Yeah. Why did you sell the maize? Exactly. First, we are going to start with the former Minister of uh, Information. She went there in the sheds. No, we are selling the maize. Mm. Okay, cool. We watched. We kept quiet. Mm. Next, in Parliament, the MPs raised that issue. Why have you sold the, the maize? Despite being advised to say this year, there will be a drought. The Minister of Agriculture is on record to have said, no, we've got enough maize. Actually, we won't stop exporting the maize. Where possible, even Miu Miu will be exporting. First, first, what did Cornelius do? Took the journalists to southern province. I'm sure some of you were there. No, we've got enough reserves it in a minister. People started asking questions. What does the VIP say? No, we sold because PF never paid the farmers, so we paid the farmers. We understood. Next, Womirup is asked, ah, why did you sell the maize? No, we sold because there wasn't enough storage. <laughs> the same thing, huh? Just is it yesterday or the day before yesterday? If you had to read today's paper, you find that the same VIP who said we sold to pay the debt, today said no, we didn't sell, it was the private dealers who sold the maize. The question is, who sought? Vuto ni boza. And you know, if you're a liar, you need to have a good memory. Yes. <laughs> because every time you want to justify your lie, you end up lying more. Yeah. And this is what is happening to this government. Trust Baribe. boza, It's like, it's a government of liars, for liars, for lies. <laughs> That's all they do. You know, this is a democracy, guys. As the youths, these elders that you are seeing here are just protecting this country for us. Then I'm going to 23 hours in my life. Zambia in Uniyaki. And if you are going to live, I'm going to 22. Ah, ah, Zambia. Zambia.
Zambia ni ya, toi. Zambia is for us young people because we still have a long way to go. So if you are going to sit down and see things going wrong and you are not speaking, then we are going to have ourselves to blame in the future. Absolutely. Every person is born a politician because if you are speaking, the only thing is that others are active and others are not active. But we are all politicians because if you don't agree with politicians, then you are being political. You understand? So there's nothing like saying, no, I'm non-political. We are all politicians. Yeah. If you if you are non-political, why don't you agree with what politicians are saying? You are political also. So even as you sit home, my youth, I'm calling upon all the youths in Zambia to come to UCA. Yes. Let's join UCA in numbers. Yeah. We are a majority in this country, and I'm assuring through the presidency here to say that I'm going to lobby to make sure that the next election that is coming, majority can carry our youth. So our youth will run in numbers. And politics now has changed. If there are those youths who think we are going to go to Uka and take violence, Yaruka, this is a new era. We are going to use our brains and not our muscle. We would rather have Umpeta Zopompa Mut than Zinama Six Pass. So let's wait. And uh, the ruling party, if they think they are going to intimidate us, no. stay open. Gatin Kujere, Tizari, Mbafta, Lon, Jalatini, Misa, Budal. If after five years, I can try to take my jump up, Jere, Tikavari, and I can say, I'm Jere. Jala, Yatichita. If you are true, uh, sorry. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you to say we've got this issue of uh, Lord Shady. And uh, the current president is on record to have condemned the former president and the whole entire cabinet to say what we are lacking is leadership. That's why we've got Lord Shady. He even said. In Dubai, where there, there is no rain whatsoever, they've got the power 24 7. We kept quiet. Kite is kite is good to come Time time, Mungu am going to be in the We are power. Two, ma two months. No, we finished Lord Shedding. Now I'm going to Lord Shedding. No, he said, drought, you know, you can't question this. For me, I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit. For Vuta, I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit. But power is going at eight. Was you know, and the Baba man. By eight hours, my light here, and I can't tell my Who's at about seven thirty? I end. Who's at your bed at sixteen? Your boy will be at twenty-two hours. None of that will get us to see. All of this, none of that will go. We just want to make sure Marola is at charge. We go setting at six twenty-three hours. So even my sister can't even forget because it's the youths that are suffering. Most of the jobless youths in Makombo Lum, we are bad at my barber shop. We are busy with bad at my saloon. At least if they can't give us power. Let them at least was come back over so on a good time. I mean, I'm like that. A boutique boza is like Arians and Manja Bongaraja Pena Boza. That's why I'm saying 2026 UPND. We won't continue to live in a country where lies now are being normalized, and we won't also accept to be in a country where the constitution is not respected. Mm. Yes. They, they've talked about the issue of JJ. Munaona kushua wendole mbesa no wani ukukunyumba ningerera kawala rofika ifa tunaita teo nata wa shishi katironga wa mene yu. Yes. Issue wana usha yaku dala. Tinambe la stishu ushai. We don't want to go against what the government is doing. But some of the things, you know, let laws be applied equally and fairly. Yes. If I complain, either they like me or not, in any complain, so let the police arrest that person. Let them investigate. Not just because Sparrow is Uka, nigga end up police in a complaint younger sip and says. We now go to Fuari Kuja Chipani Kwao, Akaenda, even if you are police, you are police, and you are a police. Yeah, laws in Zambia are supposed to be applied equally and fairly to each and every Zambian. 
So issue a JJ, when I them twenty fifteen, why wind. Ika see I Baka Silizana and I Tifuna Jaminana Kamara Warongeo. So that it won equity, the laws are being applied equally and fairly. Then the court will determine whether JJ was lying or he was telling the truth. For now, what we want is the laws to be applied equally and fairly. Then you know, because of uh, what we are going through, high cost of living, gani ya malaiti, na tuina ngutuina angu. Na boza na eve, inafurika, inayo, stop on the agenda. Maka maka boza. Boza eve, in fact, inafurika, I would like to call upon the pastors and the reverends. Tika nkari kwa na crusade, day of nation of playing against lies. Nipo boza in fashion, kuli, hiri kwa ibomai. <laughs> Sometimes you can go to understand. So every Friday, Tizambo Vala Black yes. to remind this government to say, Boza ya nyanya, mm. njala ya nyanya pa komboni, mm. ndipo vintu, stizi wa kwamene tienda. So please, all the youths, let's unite, ten tigwirizane, ten senzele pamozi to see to it that we have a Zambia that we want to live in. Ziko mwaka mbili, vuka mwaka mbili, nilipi. Oh ho, even you are youth. Bani kumbusa. Bachi doni kumbusa. So, my youth, wajamini wafuna kujoi na uka. Nilipo, nili in charge. Osa yopa, vijavani mwenzo yopa ya makada, zani menya kulipe ya. Kulipe vo menya, anefe vande yo, ndiyo vame stand buwanje. Stifu, na stifu na kutina mizira. So, azimai, osa ti ya iti, jabe nkale kunyumba, ndiyo makala maniga affected. Bwerani mjoi ni uka, masichea ready. Come in numbers, let's make sure kuti, 2026. And you tend to vote. This habit of saying, no, number Kulema Kuvota Kairi Boza. The problem is if you don't wake up in the morning to go and vote. So your vote is your power. Ziko Mokambi Rekan Machikurire, Bakambe Totere Kol. Um, I'll ask the Buka chair lady to also uh, come through and speak. Charity! At Munaima Molini. Munisha, you want to say if we have Uka ladies, Nanguba na Mayo Wamu Uka, to Lady La, Okueva, see, to two Maniaka Pichapa, Motuombe, the Chapamo. Now, we should offer to Ikele, to Ikele, quite in your mom, me, one party, Uch, that I owe Quavepa, I owe Quavepa. Lay long, who feel now, Buchiramo. No, but to the fire to push a chin to the baby at Batata, Muavepa, Bafula, to the fire to change a whiny. I have never to ever say, I if the government cannot provide what the citizens want, the people should change it, the government. So we are just doing what they asked us to do. Are we wrong to do that? No. And we are doing it, not so. So welcome to UKA and join us, please. M quite lay Pshabonseva and Amayo, Elevana Mayo, and for Tusungava and Abonseva and Navadi above sixteen years. Tien to Vasende, Tier to Lembe Shama and Narasis. In M for Minak Southern Province, Alanava Lembe Shechine Chine. So no more provinces, Yambero Vala Tampa, and to Lembe She. Pantunga to Lembe She to Alla Perera Fiumculanda, he changed the case. Chinamuntu afuila kwata icha afu iminika vya vishiku, which is the NRC na voters card. Na tulembe shoko wa chituka chinje. Pantumuli voters card na muli NRC emuli ya maka. So wanamayo ngamle mfapama keti muli wangu wangu mwafu wako vale lembe go with your children and register. This fight is real and we have to conquer. SDR, they hijacked your program and back to you. <laughs> no, you, you, it turned out very, very positively. Um, we're humbled. There's a handle that hasn't been getting dropped from that end. Just introduce, please come closer.
Good afternoon to the Council of Presidents. Speak up, speak up. Good afternoon to the Council of Presidents. Um, I've been attending most of these presses. And uh, I've got a question. Oh, yourself. my name is uh, Maxwell Chong. I've been attending most of these presses, and um, my question is directed to the chairman of Booker. What measures are you putting in place? Because it's clear that most of the young people that have got influence, you've seen joining UCA, to be brutalized. What measures are you putting in place to assist them with legal matters? Because I'm sure we are going to have a lot of people who are going to represent the court. And as a result, they shy away. Secondly, when I go to the Bible, I remember there was one person that was an outcast. And this man was called uh, Saul. But God changed Saul into the Paul that we are reading about today in the Bible. To you as parents, I think don't look at those that made mistakes in the past to say we don't need them. Change them into the better leaders that we want to see in the future. That's my appeal. Thank you. Thank you. We were palace Hunger is biblical. I'm not offensive. My name is Dante. While you're from Diamond TV, uh, I just want to get a comment from Uka, especially the national chairman, the youth chairman. Uh, today, police has just uh, uh, detained three youth activists who planned to stage a protest over the prolonged long hours of load shading. Perhaps maybe as Uka and just the youth chairman, what do you make of that, especially that you were speaking about when people complain, but the law is applied differently? Is there any question? Yes, with the chair will see that. I'm George of Chimba, I'm coming from the grassroots media. I want to talk about my brother JJ who is in, uh, in the cells. First of all, uh, we are happy that, uh, Council, you are here. I want to find out from you, Council. Since uh, JJ was voted from Petauke as a member of parliament to represent the people of Petauke, and he has been uh, in parliament for over two years, why did the UPN not arrest him when he was going to parliament? But when he was abducted, that's when they arrested him. Thank you. Um, the, any last takers? Ladies, what is wrong with the female lady? Uh, sorry, not female lady. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'm right about female ladies. Not very much female. From the ladies. Um, you, the lady in black, you already adopted Black Friday, not Wednesday. Please don't take off that dress. <laughs> Ask your question. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anyway, even shaking your head is a question. What question are you asking by shaking your head? <laughs> okay, Chair, I think uh, those can be handled and we'll treat them as the last questions and comments. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Maxwell Chongo asked about uh, what measures are being taken to help those who have who youths who will run into legal uh, problems. Um, I think that uh, you have seen that uh, whenever anybody gets into problems who is UCA, we are out there supporting them. And I want to make it very, very clear that for any of our youths, not only just the youth, even ordinary members who will get into problems because of the politics, we are going to be there for them. We do have um, a legal committee for UCA, and it is uh, chaired by a state council. That is the State Council Chifumu Banda. He's the chair of the legal committee and he's got people under him. And so they are ready to defend uh, our people. So do not hold back. You've got cover from us.
Um, you also talked about uh, Saul, who was changed uh, into Paul by God. And uh, we do have uh, uh, some people here who are uh, uh, from the church. So I'll ask uh, President Musoma to make a comment uh, on that. Um, in helping with the Rika, we are being told here about a, 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 a youth called Waini, so his attention was... Oh, his attention was... Uh, yes, yes. Ah, okay. No, no, in, in that case, then, um, Wasondo, or oh, you were also in that conversation. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I will, uh, I'll then simply state that um, we believe that human beings can change. We believe that uh, with being amongst the right people, uh, who give you uh, right examples. Even if you had some bad habits, those will be changed by the people who are around you. So we believe that uh, even if somebody had a bad past, if they are properly mentored, they can become positive. Just like our soul turned out to be so positive, despite his uh, background. So be rest assured that that is what we will do. Um, uh, Dan, Dan what you have talked about the three activists who have been detained uh, merely because they wanted to uh, make known their displeasure with regards to what is happening with our ZESCO and so forth. It's a pity that our country <coughs> has now become basically a police state where people's rights are being trampled upon. Um, I think that uh, those need all of us to support them. And we're going to find out more as to the circumstances under which they were picked up. Um, I cannot say much more than that because I, I don't know the actual circumstances. But from what you have said, uh, and taking what you have said uh, to be the position, if that is so, it is terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. And uh, we will follow up on it. I don't know whether any of my colleagues wanted to add on it. Yeah. So perhaps come in. <laughs> the former Republican president, His Excellency President Edgar Chagwarungo, the UCA Chairman, State Council, Vice Chair Lady, Madam President. Let me just say all UCA Presidents present, as well as other UCA officials, and you distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Countrymen and women, what is happening in our country at the moment is very regrettable. This country has now descended into total lawlessness. On one hand, our colleagues in the ruling party can do as they please. On the other hand, any small transgression by any member of the community who is not aligned to UPND is quickly apprehended. Not so long ago, we saw those UPND youth in, uh, in uh, Bowden, where they were breaking down vehicles and so on and so forth. Up to now, despite assurances by President Hagaide Ichirema that those people will be arrested and taken to court 
nothing has happened. And yet, we have a situation where these uh, youths who decided to protest against road shedding are now being apprehended and uh, incarcerated. That is double standards. And there's nothing wrong with protesting against road shedding. Because the road shedding we are seeing under New Dawn is a very different type of road shedding which some of us have never seen before. Yes. Even the cell phone network is a problem now. <laughs> Even internet is a problem now. Yes. What kind of road shedding is this? Jesus. And yet we still have a president who wants to insist that it is better to export some electricity to earn dollars. Shame. Dollars for what? Shame, shame, shame. When we have been reduced to the Stone Age, yeah. not only do we not have power in our homes, but we can't use our cell phones. Mm. What is the point of having a cell phone if you cannot use it? Mm. The rule of law has completely broken down countrymen and women, not only at police level, but even at the judiciary. Yeah. Mm. We have a situation whereby Yesterday, the Constitutional Court agreed to rehear the issue of the eligibility of former President Edi Gachagualungu. Why? This is an issue that has been determined several times before. So what is it that the Court wants to hear? What is it they want to determine again? That is the question we need to ask them. And this particular concord, countrymen and women, is a very strange kind of constitutional court. Ever since the new dawn came into office in August of 2021, the constitutional court has never ruled against government. On any case, they have never ruled against UPND on any case. Previously, <laughs> Countrymen and women, previously, <laughs> under the previous regime, we used to get the Concord ruling against government. Mm. The Constitutional Court ruled against the ministers who were serving in government and ordered them to pay back for having been in office after dissolution of parliament. Yes. That was an objective Constitutional Court, yes. which had the backbone to rule against the sitting government. Yes. This particular concord is an extension of the ruling UPND party. Yes. It appears to be there for the sole purpose of protecting the interests of the UPND and the government, yes. which is extremely regrettable. The rule of law, countrymen and women, has totally broken down in this country. Even at major streets level, you find the Situations whereby if you file a complaint against any ruling party person, any minister, anybody, that complaint is never taken forward. Yeah. We have cases where we filed complaints of hate speech against Batuka Imenda, against Douglas Yakarima, and all these complaints, the DPP declined to give us consent to privately prosecute. Yeah. And yet... In similar cases, for instance, the case of Honorable Chishimba Kamwiri, the GPP ensured that he prosecuted that case and got a conviction and a sentence of six months. And the GPP said that is not enough. He went and appealed and is now seeking for a sentence of two years. Yeah. Is that fair, countrymen and women? No. Every level of the judiciary is seriously compromised. At the high court level, we have a situation where judges who were UPND cadres, whereby if you check their Facebook profile, you see them wearing UPND regalia, have since been appointed to the bench. Yes. When you have a matter which is a political matter involving any opposition leader, the case is quickly channeled to a judge who is a former UPND cadre. Can you get justice in that instance, countrymen and women? No. And our final submission is that the only thing that maintains peace in a country is justice. Yes. 
to the extent that one section of the population cannot get justice, then it is unreasonable to expect that it, peace and tranquility will prevail. Yes. Because they are grieved, we want to stand up mm. against the injustice they are being subjected to. Mm. We cannot continue to be harassed, arrested, and uh, convicted, sent to prison on flimsy charges mm. which are choreographed at State House, mm. and yet we are also citizens of this country. Yes. We shall not allow that. Yes. We shall not allow President Haka Inde Ichiremazi chosen, personally chosen judicial officers to be convicting us on flimsy grounds. Mm. To be convicting us on very flimsy grounds because it is something that may have already been agreed with the president to say, all oh, my political rivals by 2026, I want them behind bars. No. We shall not accept that. We want and the reason is simple. Zambia is also our country. Yes. Yes. Zambia is not only a country for Haka and the and the people he appointed into positions of authority. No. It is not. It no. is also our country. Yes. Abash tribalism, Abash. Abash. Thank you. I'm going to be very brief because hunger is biblical, but, <laughs> but somebody raised very important issues uh, over the youth and um, their participation and being arrested in Wakatamba. We are dealing with a very, very ruthless um, regime. So, Manta, I've never seen a situation like this. There was somebody who did an Uka song and they wanted somebody to really just do a video. It was difficult. People that do videos were failing to do a video because they are scared. I've never seen a situation like that one. Because an artist can sing. So I'm not going to a video So that's a level of fear which is there in this country. But you should realize uh, like what the chair said. Uh, when the youth have been, are being arrested to something which is uh, uh, related to politics or UCA, there's already been certain kinds of help that have been uh, given. So I wanted to come here to give you that assurance. Uh, number one, Kapasa. I'm sure you remember Kapasa. Kapasa and Charles Kakula, they had written, um, they had written what is this, a notice to the police that they wanted to protest. So like the youth chairman said, it's more like when the police say, at one Ibera, that, ah, now we're at Shishi, the other day again. So they are arresting the very people that are doing something, okay? So I think Kapasa and uh, Charles Kakula wanted to protest or something like that, and they were arrested. Uh, I didn't even know about it. I think the uncle called me. He's a, he's a Mr. Kapasa also. He said this guy has been in a prison for, in the South for two, two weeks now. You know, and I told the Council of Presidents. And the Council of Presidents did provide for a lawyer. And that's how Kapasa came out. Had we not been made aware of that, the guy could have still been inside. Even the issue of why me, already something is being done. And it's funny that even before you say, that's what I've been discussing with President Lungu uh, here. Uh, so why me lawyers have already been uh, presented, okay, they've already been uh, given to him. What is now missing, what is now uh, we're waiting for is uh, a surety. One surety was found, but the, first, the second one has, hasn't been found yet. So issue of why me, what is just needed is uh, uh, a surety, the second surety. So that's the assurance that we're giving, and I just wanted to reaffirm uh, the commitment of UCA to say anything to do with politics, that we see that genuinely this person we are actually already helping those young people. And also, let me re-emphasize, this is your country. Yes. You know, like the other speakers have said, don't be scared. Yes. You know, a lot of things sometimes they do to us. I never thought I would enter sale in my whole life. I never thought I would do that. But you be in the ni in Mamuna, Mama sales is our second home. You know, so don't be scared. If you are going to be scared, then Zambia is going to be finished. We won't have a country to call our own soon. So my youth, this is your country. Please rise. Not rise with arms and stones and whatever, but rise in a way that you're going to defend your country mm. and defend the democracy of this country. Yes. Thank you so much. You are doing it, Tina! <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think the very last bit is uh, from grassroots. 
uh, why did UPND not arrest JJ when he was in parliament for two years? Um, they didn't do so because they thought that they would be able to use him. And when he said that, no, he's not there to be used by them, that is when they said, let's fix him. That's how bad these people are. That's how bad they are. Thank you. Yes, uh, I just wanted to talk about, uh, I think there's that journalist who talked about... Uh, <coughs> ah, Ningaimiri. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about uh, the youths that uh, have been detained, just like what uh, State Council here said. Um, we are going to find out what they've done. But you see, this issue of trying to detain whoever wants to voice out, is not good. They are infringing on our rights. Because if you look at the fundamentals of democracy, protests, as long as it's peaceful, is one of them. Yes. And we've got all the right to voice up when we are not happy. All of us are going to be able to voice up when we are not happy. They are still going to be able to voice up when we are not So if the people decide to, to show displeasure to their own government, is that an offense? No. no. If they are not going to show displeasure to the government, who is going to attend to their problems? Imagine. You know, I've had situations where you find that when they are in the police, they are going to be police. They are going to be in the police. They are three months, they are going to And yet, they are going to be in the drama. What does the law say? Is it 48 hours? Is it 48 hours? Before they are in court? Yeah. yeah. So, once they are going to be in the police conference, they are going to be in Wamene walonga, wane kamonga mshie nga, for three weeks isa inda kusero, two months isa inda kusero, munga ntu mire. Tizabu ya rapamino kwa tisasa kila naro ya mpaka achoke. As you are standing for all Zambians, you tiyali on, tiyali mo problem, as long as in problem yo fie ngewa, we are going to make sure that we are going to organize lawyers. But that does not mean ni kwamba upangira dala mirandu ya. Timbera, nasuma mene? Vindu nga tsiviri buino, don't be scared. Voice out. But do whatever you have to do within the confines of the law. Yes. So, I have a many work with you. To that I find out, myself and my team will go and visit them. Then Tim Vere, and we will go to the media. Some of us are not scared to voice out. We are going to inform the Zambians. Ngati wawafienga. Tizaka mbaute wawafienga wawachose. Unconditionally. Just like two, three days ago, Socialist Party, my youth was wana rungeo. When the bus, when you are moving, you have to voice out. They were not armed and, or, or anything. When I was there, I was there until I was there as an admission of guilt. Guilt to what? Trying to voice out where you are seeing it wrong. Imagine. Let's speak. Let's not be cowards. Viva youth power, viva! Viva! Viva youth power, viva! Viva! Viva Uka! Viva! 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 Vi